So, what's good everybody? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I made this video like 10 times. For some reason, I've been going through a little bit of a depression and I'm not too ashamed to admit that. Um, <clears throat> I've been going through a little bit of a depression and so every time I make a video, I end up deleting it because I'm like, like who really cares that this happened to me or that happened to me it's me like nobody really cares it's just my life so like who would care about my life so much to watch a video but i realized today when talking to somebody about an easier shot method and shot anxiety and different things like that that my videos may not be watched very much very often but when they are, they do seem to help people. And even if it was to help one person, I would be satisfied with that. So I'm gonna continue to make my videos and just stop getting, I need to get over that fear that nobody cares because people care. It's just, you know, I don't advertise my videos all like that. So of course they're not gonna get too much attention. But anyways, I did want to, uh, cause I did an unboxing video. I did want to show off a suit that I got from 17th and Granville. Well, thank you to my friend Don. I, I, I honestly, I asked them their name and they go by they, uh, them pronouns. I think they may go by she pronouns as well, but um, I know to call them they. But, uh, well, I don't even know what I was about to say. Anyways, uh, thank you to you. I appreciate you for sending me these things and I love being a part of something and being able to rep something and like you know just even if I don't I hope I help but I that's my point I hope I help so um I do want to show off a piece I got by them um I did get this beanie the first time they sent me things um still have it keep it in good condition I like to wash it every year and there and it's washable it's safe to wash um it's very comfortable and it uh goes well with this suit uh it's all orange um stand up it's got these shorts with it that got the logo on it. Um, I'm wearing my, of course, sorry about the mess on my porch. I'm wearing my pride sandals from Champion or whatever the fuck. But, uh, because it goes well with this. But, um, yeah, the suit does run pretty much like 90 bucks, I think. It's a lot, but not a lot compared to getting your regular Nike suits and stuff like that. Because that's the kind of material that this is. It's a really good material. So, like you'd be paying less for the same type of material that they use for like Nike suits and champion sweatsuits and stuff like that. So I think it's a good price. At least check it out. It's a black person of color, um, LGBTQ owned business that you can support um, even just by looking at it and liking this video if you want or checking it out just check it out it it's they've got good clothing i love them i love it and i've actually gone as far as to buy some things off of them because i actually love the material that they make their sweats their sweatshirts out of i've never gotten a pair of shorts from them but they're these are just the same material pretty much but more comfortable on the inside like this mesh type stuff it's very comfortable Okay, so enough about the clothing. Um, I do want to do an update. I went from moving from Ohio to Connecticut. When I went to Ohio, I switched to 75 milligrams of Zyostead a week. Now, I finally did that 75 milligram shot while I was here. I felt like it was shot day on Wednesday instead of Sunday my shot days are monday so i had i had a video appointment with my pcp finally i'm um, thank god i saw them i love them shout out to dr eckert um they told me you know if you already felt your mood shift that early um if you feel off already that early 
and you've been stable on this dose for over two years. Um, nothing should have changed too much. Your hemoglobin and hemocrit levels may be elevated, but with elevated testosterone levels, that comes with it. Also, if worst case scenario, they could just have me donate blood a couple times or something like that. There's other alternatives to lowering my dose. So they're gonna try those first. And the great thing about having elevated T levels is I grew finally a beard. It's not as, it's patchy, it sucks. It's patchy and it's not as much on this side as it is on this side. This side's darker and fuller, this side is not. But this side's, uh mustache is attaching faster to the beard than the, this side. it's just backwards as fuck i don't know why my beard grows the way it does it grows like opposite ways on my face so it's hard to grow it out without shaving it and correcting things and then ruining the process of growing it out but i did grow a pretty good beard so i'm proud of that um one thing I'm working on right now is I'm stopping smoking. I did try the generic version, well, the alternative version of Chantix. It didn't work. So I've just been buying Lucy's here and there and hoping that I stop. I'm going to talk to my doctor about that, my next appointment. Um, I do want to do a chest uh, review, not review, but like a chest update so you guys can see how it's healing in a second. But Another thing I'm working on is I actually got into therapy for the first time since I was 19 years old. Um, it's very hard because um, I'm one of those people that so many, so many things happen to me that a lot of people don't know about that I've never talked about that I put it so far back in my mind that I've never talked to therapists about it. And after top surgery, for some reason, a lot of memories started coming back to me. So lately, it's been an emotional roller coaster of a lot of flashbacks. So I do have PTSD, and I do think that I have an eating disorder as a result of that, which is why I have my THC card. Well, my mar med my, I'm in the mar medical with marijuana program in Connecticut. Um, I do have PTSD. I've been having flashbacks of different things. So, like, it's been rough realizing things that have happened to me that nobody really knows about because nobody really knows about it. So it's hard to talk to people about it for the first time. But I am going through therapy to resolve those issues because they do affect relationships I have, whether it be my romantic relationship or my friendships. Um, definitely need therapy. So... I've started that and the first thing we have established is that I feel better when I feel a purpose. I, I like I have a purpose. So I have been working on looking at least at jobs. I know they give me a lot of anxiety to work, but I have to get out there. I have to do something like when you're sick you don't just sit there and mope most of the time sometimes you have to get up and do uncomfortable things you have life you have to get better you have to get healthier and you're not gonna get healthier by just sitting there and moping and being stagnant it's just it's not gonna help you so especially like after surgeries too you can't just sit around you'll get sick so like I can't just sit around I'm gonna get sick so I'm gonna work on finding a job that I like um, so I'm working on stopping smoking doing therapy getting a job um, I have labs to do mid-august um, but other than that that's pretty much it I do want to show my chest I don't know where to put the sweatshirt it's so fucking nice that I don't want to put it just anywhere <laughs> Uh, yeah, but this jacket, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I do, I am a brand ambassador, I'm not gonna lie, for this brand, but I do love their clothing, because they're very freaking comfortable, especially this beanie, I do it when I have to do shots, I put it on when I have to do shots, because it, like, covers my head and makes me feel better, I don't know, it's very comfortable, but, alright, so, you can see how my chest is healing it's healing evenly but it has a little dent which is coming out the more i work out so i know once i work out more that this side will come in because when i do this 
this side has a little bit of a dent right here just like this side has a little bit of a dent right here so i just have to do more push-ups and i have been lacking so it hasn't healed as quite as fast as it should but as far as scarring goes my scarring is actually really nice um my scarring always is darker it always has a hyperpigmentation after surgeries um even my hysterectomy scars you can still see um i don't know if you can see that or not so far away but you can see my hysterectomy scars um they indent and they uh darken so that's what i knew my scars would do but honestly i've been using organic shea butter and massaging my chest and my scars and my nipples and stuff like that and it's been helping the indentation a lot and the pigmentation a lot so um for guys of color uh even other guys who have hyperpigmentation on their skin when they have their surgery um organic shea butter works very very well um or at least for me it does so yeah that's pretty much it uh i use by by the way i use bio oil and organic shea butter so like i do my chest twice a day i leave it once just dry to heal like not heal but to just dry off naturally with nothing on it but i switch days i alternate days i do shea butter bio oil shea butter bio oil in the mornings after i wash my scars so yeah that's pretty much it um i wanted to do a little bit of a show of my sweatsuit that i got um uh, wanted to reveal my chest wanted to talk about stopping smoking my tea levels everything like that that's pretty much it peace out